Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Museum Collection Baseball, six box, half case, pick your team, number 12. A very big thanks to, to a lot of you for filling up this break almost straight up. We almost did it straight up, which I appreciate. Devin, you ended up with last spot mojo before I pulled the remaining four teams out for that random number block randomizer. There's everybody else. Thanks for picking your teams, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks to the folks here who uh, took a chance on the filler, featuring those four teams right there. And that's in a uh, that's in a different video. Did I upload that video? I don't think I did. Give me a, just a second. You can fast forward this part through this part if you're uh, rewatching this video. If you're watching live, you're just stuck with me while I load up the number block video don't have to monetize that click through public publish all right now you remember from the previous break I marked uh, the boxes 12 so you know that they're from the same case all right I feel like the first half that we did a couple nights ago was pretty nice Let's hope that uh, let's hope that trend continues. Let's hope that trend continues in this half. Uh, I feel like things are starting to heat up in the baseball world. Phillies signing Taiwan Walker, Giants signing Mitch Haniger, Cubs signed Cody Bellinger, Guardians signed Josh Bell. Et cetera, et cetera. Wilson Contreras has received multiple year offers from the Cardinals and Astros. I think John Heyman from MLB Network jumped the gun and posted that the Giants were very close to signing Aaron Judge. But that tweet has since been deleted. John Heyman has apologized for jumping the gun. Giants officials said that they have extended an offer, but but uh, they haven't heard back from Aaron Judge. All right, he was just throwing haymakers. He's fired that tweet off a little too early. All right. Got a uh, sketch reproduction card and 20, uh, 20 out of 150, Steve Garvey. Nice uh, old school Dodger going to Ed. Yeah, I think he already he already retracted it. That happened uh, happened earlier today. So a lot of people still vying for his signature. He may be right in the end, though. Seven out of ten, Keston Hira. Nice patch there for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Martin. Unless the Yankees just, you know, whatever the the report is that the Giants have offered him almost three hundred and sixty million dollars somewhere in that neighborhood, allegedly. Got to take everything this you know in the off season with a grain of salt. Here's Patrick Corbin, forty out of ninety nine, quad relic for the Nats. So that'll go to Washington Zero, part of the number block group. Ivan with that one. And then we've got Bo Bichette, two color, dual relic, and autograph. Blue, Jay, Blue Jays are also a number block team. So that is 27 out of 50. So that goes to Toronto 7. And that will be for Lonnie. 
but yeah, um, so neighborhood of three hundred sixty million dollars, which is a lot, which is a lot of money. No word on how many years though. Aaron Judge has allegedly wanted at least nine, which is a lot, especially at his age. But it's whatever. It's like they, like we say in the hobby, it's whatever someone's willing to pay, right? He's asking, and people might be paying. But yeah, what happens if the Yankees don't get Aaron Judge? I mean, they have to put themselves in a position, I think, Grizzlebees, where where they have to say, we offered him more, far more and an extra year than the Giants deal. He just chose not to take it. That would be like the spin control. And it has to be true. They have to, like, they have to say, hey, here's $400 million, 10 years. You know, up to you. Ooh, this feels like a book, maybe a or a thicker card. So I think that's that's the kind of position they have to end up in. Just so Yankees fans will be like, well, I mean, at least at least they tried. They offered him the most money in the more the most years. You know, we didn't try to lowball him. Not this time around. And it's a book. Ooh, an Atelier autograph book card. Nice. There he is, Aaron Judge. I think it is French. I think it's it's French for a, a, a room, I think. There's a roll this Chapman. Three color dual relic for the Yankees. That'll be for Martin. The Votto reproduction and we've got Xander Bogart, 74 out 75. Yeah. I've been thinking if they don't, if they miss out, they'll they'll certainly pivot. Mets made the pivot from Degrom. Yankees will be able to pivot away from Aaron Judge if need be. Maybe Xander Bogarts. That'll be going to Stephen Carney and the Red Sox. And then we got Keston here again. This time to 25 for the Brewers. Martin. I mean. Yeah, kind of, Rex. I think I, I agree with that. Would it be one of the dumbest moves ever to let him go? Yeah, you, you brought him up through your farm system. You invested so much time and money in him. He's a fan favorite in New York. Broke records. You know, and, and you're just going to let him walk? I mean, can't do that. They can afford it, too. Jose Ramirez reveals an atelier autograph book card. I think people in uh, in fashion use the word atelier, I think. Like Christian Dior will have an atelier in Paris, which would be a small room where he makes custom-made pieces, I think. I think. Ooh, Juan Soto, wow. Gold ink autograph. And I, I love the, uh, the the giant Juan Soto, the big baseball field here. Wow, that's nice. 23 out of 25, Washington Nationals. That goes to Nationals 3, and that'll be for Alex. There you go, Alex. Very nice hit. Juan Soto may hit free agency. No, it's not their choice, Ivan's saying. He's going to go back to his hometown. I don't know. Money talks, though. You know, if, if, the, if the Yankees have a stronger offer than the Giants, how do you turn that down? I don't know. Most of the time, I don't, I don't really buy into the hometown narrative. But 
Trey Turner did turn down a bigger offer from the Padres to go back to the East Coast, where, where he's from. But then again, Kershaw could have gone to Dallas, you know, to play for the Rangers, but he chose to stay with L.A. So now what? <laughs> You know, uh, Kevin Durant, oh, there's the gold frame. That's a one per case. Kevin Durant could have gone to the Wizards. Go back home, but he didn't. I don't know. Sometimes that, that going back home narrative works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, I, I think the only only reason why he hasn't signed Rex is probably like Grizzleby said, was just for leverage. You know, you just keep going back and forth. I mean, he's not doing the work. You know, Scott Boris, his agent's doing the. I think it's Scott Boris, right? He's doing the work. So he's just like, Giants, what's your offer? Okay, uh, Yankees, what's your counter offer? Here's Anthony Rizzo, forty-seven out of fifty. Until they kind of play that game, just to see how far the price can get up, and then he can just choose either way. It doesn't have to be the bigger offer either. There's a 31 out of 75. You know, they might just lean on the Giants and be like, "Well, the Yankees offered 380. Giants, can you go to 390?" And their Giants are like, "Nah, can't. Three 370 as high as we'll go." You sure? <laughs> Dever is going to Boston, Stephen Carney. But even then, Judge could still be like, all right, I definitely still do want to go home, so I'll take $20 million less to go back home. Or he might just say, I'll take the bigger offer. I'll stay in New York where I've been comfortable as well. Tyler Glass now. Two-color dual relic for the Rays. 196 out of 200. That'll go to Tampa Bay. And we've got Brand Lau to 50, piece of his jersey, going to the Rays. Uh, 320, 32 that is. So that'll go to Tampa 2, Lonnie. And behind Bryce Harper, gold frame. Eight out of 10, John Smoltz. Gold ink autograph, gold frame. Very nice. Braves, Ed with Atlanta. Nice, good looking hit. Next box. Of course, Mike Tower, come on. Of course. Doing off doing the life thing. Did you have a, a phone near you, Mike Tower? Were you doing life without your smartphone? Believe it or not, as long as you have a smartphone, and I, I would I would guess most people are hold, carrying their smartphones all day long. Jaspies is always in your pocket. Just fire up that YouTube app. Go to Jaspies case breaks. Fire up the live stream. And check out the chat, the live stream, see what's going on. Make Jaspies part of your everyday life. All day, every day. Uh, 
All right. Let's, we'll do that randomizer for those uh, non-numbered cards as well for that number block group. That Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card will be among them. There's Luis Robert to 150. It'll be for Ed P. and the White Sox. All right, behind Steven Strasburg, he reveals a quad rally Colin Moran. Nine out of 99. Behind the reproduction, Derek Jeter is Patrick Corbin, dual relic and autograph for Washington. That's a number block team. And that is for number two, 152 out of 275. And that'll be for Lonnie, number two. Behind Greg Maddox is DJ LeMayu, 21 out of 35. And behind Frank Robinson is Justin Morneau, 29 out of 150 archival autographs, twins, Steve Locke. What's up, Gilo? Uh, the interview went fine. It was pretty quick. It wasn't super long, but it was cool. Talk to, talk to sports card investor, talk to Jeff. You know, just kind of recapped a quick little history of, of our store. Told us about our breaking operations, you know, gave us our thoughts on the, the past, present, and the future of the hobby. Jaspies, as usual, predictably bullish about the hobby. Always going to be short-term ups and downs, but long-term. We're, we're in it to win it. I think we'll be just fine. Shout at our store, the website, the Instagram, the live, the live group breaks. Shops close to LAX, close to the airport. Beautiful Hermosa Beach, California. And out. We were we were in, promoted, out. We're just like like we are we're like PR, we're like PR pros. Chilo. I did not did not have time to show them the Porsche. Did not have time to show them the uh, the Aston Martin. It'd be more, be more an Aston Martin guy if anything. If I if I had that kind of money. All right, there's a Spencer Torkelson going to Martin, rookie card. And a Julio Rodriguez, two out of 50, rookie card for Billy and the Mariners. Nice. Are there redemptions? There have been redemptions in museum. Pete Alonzo reveals a Steven Strasburg, 10 out of 99. That goes to Washington, zero. That'll be for you, Ivan. And behind Cal Ripken is Derek Lee. Old Cubby, dual relic and autograph. Going to Devin and the Cubs. 106 out of 399. Can't get any, can't get any bigger, Rex. I don't know why you, you think that it could even continue to swell. There's Christian Yelich, 12 out of 50. It's already big enough. Now that was that was not a head swelling. He had a lot of guests on from from all corners of the hobby. And we we were but a five minute blip in the uh, in the hours long program that he's doing tonight and tomorrow. 13 out of 25, Tory Hunter. 
Superstar showpieces. Nice Tory Hunter for uh, Steve Locke. Twins. Final box. Uh, I think tomorrow's Sports Card Investor Show, they were talking about this. I'm going to see if I, if I have time. Well, I'll be here with you, but if I have time to watch it, maybe we'll take a look. Apparently, an executive from Fanatics will be on the, uh, the Sports Card Investor Holiday Card Show, Virtual Card Show Party um, on their YouTube channel. So they're going to have an executive that they're going to interview there, which will be interesting to see what he has to say. You know, and Fana Tops has been under Fanatics, the Fanatics umbrella for a better part of this year already. And I think most, most people probably haven't even noticed. You know, there, there's really no, really no Fanatics branding anywhere. And if they've pretty much said, hey, Tops, you've, you're the expert. You've done this for a while. You just keep doing you. Which I think that was a, a, a smart approach. There's Tony Gwynn, 63 out of 150. There's Tony Gwynn for the Padres. That'll be for Jeremy. And there is Max Muncy, dual relic and autograph. Should be 100% healthy next year. Looking forward to, to seeing him go back to his his big hitting ways. That's going to go to Ed and the Dodgers. Tops NFL announcement? I don't know about that. 41 out of 50 on that one, Ed. There's Pudge Von Rodriguez. I think there's still a few years before that license is officially flipped, right? There's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 9 out of 99. Quad Relic. Toronto 9. That'll be for Billy. Behind Roy Campanella is a quad relic, all closers, all different teams. Aroldis Chapman, Josh Hader, Kenley Jansen, Edwin Diaz, 21 out of 75. So that's a randomizer. One happy person, three sad. And two out of 10, another closer, Mariano Rivera, one of the best. The best? That goes to Martin and the Yankees. That's right, NJ. Remember, we got two fillers for that as well. But yeah, we are very close. All right. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Let's flip back to random.org. Let's take care of some of this randomizing business here. So let's get some new dice. First dice roll. Let's go to the number block group. Let's see who's going to get those non-numbered cards, including uh, that uh, Bobby Witt Jr. non-numbered rookie card. And then for the quad relic, that'll be between the Yankees, that's Martin, uh, Brewers, it's also Martin, Braves, that's Ed, Atlanta Braves, and New York Mets, it's also Ed. So two Martins, two Eds. They both got even odds. Let's see which team ends up on top after one and a four, five times. Let's do this one first, though. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. Alex, there you go. You're going to get those non-numbered base cards for those four teams, the Rays, Royals, Blue Jays, and Nationals base cards, plus that Bobby Wood Jr., among others. All right. One and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, three, four, and five. Atlanta, 
that's going to go to Ed. Apologies to Martin, but congrats to Ed with Atlanta. You'll get this quad relic, 21 out of 75, featuring some four, uh, four really good closers here. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.